So, we now have two remaining organisms left from patient 2. We have organism C and D. You'll know from the ground science that you've done that these are both gram-negative organisms. And these organisms have been grown on McConkie agar. McConkie agar is a semi-selective agar readily used within the laboratories and it is used to isolate your Enterobacteriaceae. So your gram-negative organisms primarily, but not entirely. And it also allows us to distinguish between your lactose fermenters and non-lactose fermenters. Lactose fermenting organisms will grow pink. In this case, as you can see, for isolate C. And isolate Z has not gone pink and is therefore referred to as a non-lactose fermenter. And referring to your handbook, you'll see from the flowchart at the back that we need to differentiate between these two organisms. And now you know which is a lactose fermenter and a non-lactose fermenter, you are able to do a urea test on the non-lactose fermenter. Now the urea test is quite simple. You have a slope that can um, agar soap that contains uh, urea, and you're looking to see if the organism produces urease, breaks down the urea to produce ammonia. And if it does, you will get a pH change, and the media will change from a slightly orangey colour here with this negative control to pink, as indicated by the positive control. This test takes a couple of hours to um, occur. So here's what I made earlier. And you can see from the test organism that you have got pH uh, change occurring, which is changing the agar to a nice pink colour. Therefore, organism D produces urease.